right, welcome guys. Um, this is where we left our model last time. Um, we've got some lights in place and a floor if you followed the last part of the tutorial. Um, if you haven't, um, you obviously know how to do it, so don't really worry about it. Um, we'll just turn the floor off for the moment. Um, I've been debating where to start on this. Uh, I've decided to start here on the feet. Um, I don't like the feet as they are. I think they're too big and square at the moment, so we're going to fix that now. And we'll put in these little mounting blocks, and we're going to get these tubes coming across. That'll probably take a couple of tutorials in total, so no messing about. Let's crack into this. Um, I'm just going to rename these objects here so I know what they are. Uh, if you're like me, they're both called mount. I'll just change that to left foot and right foot. Um, in order, order to change the shape, we want to bring them all out a bit that way without changing that height across there. That's fairly easy to do. Um, while we've got this foot selected, we'll go to the actual foot object and we want to be in points mode. And we'll swing around here and we'll make a loop selection. So selection loop. And we want to select this bottom ring. Um, that's all the ones on the outside. Um, we're going to want to grow our selection, so you can go to your selection menu and select grow, or you can hit U and Y on the keyboard, and we want those three rows there. Uh, switch to the other foot, and we want the same selection there. So down here we want to loop select. Place that one there and grow that so that's U and Y, U and Y. Which gives us the same three columns. Now, if we hold our control key and click on our other foot, we have both feet selected with all our points selected. And we're going to use the scale tool, uh, get to a rough side on view so you can see what you're doing. And we just want to drag it across this blue axis here. I'm not being exact or anything, I'm just doing it by eye. And that looks a bit better shape there. So get something roughly like that. Um, so no need to be exact. Um, yep, that's that part there taken care of. Um, now that we've got a much better sort of looking foot, we can work on some connectors. Um, we'll create those up here so you can see what I'm doing. We'll turn off the body for now. Um, that's just going to get in the way while we're working on the feet and stuff, so turn off your dome object. That turns off pretty much all those useless bits we don't want. Uh, create a new object. Um, primitive. And we want a tube. Um, it's on the wrong axis. We actually want it on the z-axis, so it faces the front of our model. And what we want to do here is set our inner radius to 0, outer radius to, uh, I'm not sure of the size of the pipe, so I'm going to say 15, and our height segments we want probably about 15 again. That's height, sorry, not number of segments. So as you can see it's a fairly small object compared to our model. Uh, that's half the fun of doing these detailing things. You can jump in as small as you want and tack them on all over the place. Um, we've got this tube here, so we want to make this editable. So we're going to hit Control C. Um, go into points mode, grab your select and tool. If you've got only select visible ticked, turn that off. Alt D to hide the arrows. I'm going to select this very middle point here. And you can see that selected 72 points. So want to select that same point at the back, which gives us 144 points, which is 36 round times 4, because we've got insides and outsides on a tube. And what we're going to want to do is weld all those together. So right click, grab your weld tool, and just click on your point at the back and weld. That will give us this nice little cone shape at the front. And our tube's going to plug into here. Uh, we want to use one point in there because it's going to be our point of reference for mounting the actual tube itself. 
Um, so let's bring that down to our foot. Turn the arrows back on so we can see what we're doing. Undo that, of course. You want to move the whole object. Sort of spin your model around so you can see what you're doing. Um, bring that forward. And we're going to need to rotate this to get that angle. Yeah, we're not going to be perfect because as you can see, these are fairly small. Um, grab our rotate tool and we'll just go by eye about 15 degrees. Looks fairly close to that angle there. If you wanted to be mathematical, you could measure the distance between there and there and there and work out that angle there using a compass and protractor. Um, I don't know that there's any angle measuring tool built into Cinema 4D. Um, if there is, I haven't found it, and it would have been incredibly useful. Um, 15 degrees isn't quite right. Give it a little tweak more. Now that looks a bit closer, so about 18 degrees. That's close enough. You can mess around with that a lot more if you want. Um, I'm not going to bother too much. Um, we'll spin around to the front and grab the move tool. And we just want to centre that roughly under that gap there and probably tug it down just a little. So it sits about there and we want a copy of that. So control C, control V and drag that one down to there. And make sure it's still attached to the foot so that angle's pretty close. Um, I'm probably out of time about now so we'll leave the tutorial there and come back on the next time and I'm going to put a couple there and there